So Hyundai's taken his time getting into the hybrid and electric vehicle market. But now that it's here, it has three Ionic cars. The three cars under the Ionic umbrella are the hybrid, plug-in hybrid, and pure electric. While on the outside, the vehicles look almost identical, but each is targeting a specific driver. The hybrid is going after the driver that wants to be green, but is also interested in making sure they can get to their faraway destinations without having to find a charging station. Behind the wheel, the car is about what you'd expect in the small sedan segment. It's more of a utilitarian vehicle than something you'll be showing off to friends. While Hyundai's ability to hit mountain twisties was impressive, its anemic and almost comically slow acceleration means you won't be quickening any pulses on weekend jaunts. As for the inside of the car, the Ionic Hybrid Limited I drove was well equipped for a vehicle clocking in at about $31,000 before federal tax credits. It has adaptive cruise control, emergency braking, wireless charging, and an eight speaker stereo system. Plus, it comes with a gratis three year subscription to Hyundai's Blue Link system with a companion app. Of course, you can forego all those niceties and get the base model, or blue as Hyundai calls it, for $22,200 before tax credits. Which means you could potentially walk away with a car that gets 55 miles per gallon and has a range of 600 miles for about $15,000. The all-electric Ionic is just as inexpensive. Its base price is $29,500, but after tax credits, you're looking at $22,000. Even less if you live in California, where the car will be launched in April. Like the hybrid, the electric Ionic won't impress you with its acceleration. While the cornering was nice, thanks to the torsion beam rear suspension, it didn't feel as planted to the asphalt as the hybrid with its independent multi-link. Potential buyers might also be disappointed to hear that the car only has a range of 124 miles. That might be a tough sell in the world where the Chevy Bolt and its 234 mile range exist. But it's important to note that there's a $7,000 price difference between the cars. Hyundai says it's focusing on efficiency instead of range. Their EV gets an impressive 136 MPGE out of a 28 kilowatt hour battery. The Bolt on the other hand gets 119 MPGE. So the Ionic won't get you as far, but it will cost you less per mile. Hyundai is also introducing a weird but potentially cool subscription for the EV. The three-year lease will have unlimited miles, charge reimbursement, and free scheduled maintenance. It sounds great, but the automaker has yet to actually share any pricing, so we'll just have to wait and see if it's worth it. As for the plug-in hybrid, the test vehicle available for driving was pre-production, and it won't hit showrooms until the fourth quarter of 2017. Also, there's no pricing info on the car. but. It has basically the same specs as the hybrid, so it'll potentially drive the same. So while the Ionic line might not have the range of say, the Bolt or the upcoming Model 3, what it makes up for is an efficiency and price point. And for a lot of people, that's very important. 